Welcome fellow students. I am Farah who will be teaching you this year and I am delighted to welcome you all to this academic year of 2023-2024. As we embark on a journey of knowledge, growth and discovery, let us embrace the challenges, opportunities that lie ahead. Together, we will create an environment of collaboration, innovation and mutual respect. Let this be a prosperous, prosperous, a new, a new beginning. To begin with, I would like to introduce the purpose and the aim of MYP English Literature and Language. In the IB program, it generally values language as as it is perceived as central to the development of critical thinking which is essential for the cultivation of intercultural understanding, as well as for becoming internationally minded and responsible members of local, national, and global communities. Language is integral to exploring and sustaining personal development and cultural identity, and provides an intellectual framework to support conceptual development. The six skills area in the MYP language and literature subject group include listening, speaking, reading, writing, viewing, and presenting, develop as both independent and interdependent skills. They are centered within an inquiry-based learning environment. Inquiry is at the heart of the MYP language learning and aims to support students understanding by providing them with opportunities to independently and collaboratively investigate, take action, and reflect. In other words, as an educator of the MYP system, I encourage all my students to learn through inquiry based, where they ask questions and seek a path in order to answer them, and finally reflect on their journey for finding the answer to these questions required. Moreover, the MYP itself and all disciplines focus on ATL skills. These ATL skills depict the following. Communication skills, your ability to communicate effectively, appropriately, properly, to ensure that your idea and perspective is transferred in a proper register, style, and manner. In addition, research is essential not only is it a 21st century skill, but research will enable new learners to identify between reliable and valuable resources. To add, self-management is the ability to manage and self-discipline yourself. Also, social skills highlight the ability to collaborate with either your class or students or people outside the school setting. And finally, thinking is divided into two pillars, thinking skills and creative thinking skills. Creative thinking skills highlight your ability to use an existing idea and create or find new possible solutions. Critical thinking enables you to analyze an existing situation and derive new perspectives. Moreover, this leads to the unit itself. In each and every unit, you will cover at least two ATL skills that are going to be explicitly highlighted throughout the entire unit. However, this does not mean that we are not focusing on other skills. For instance, let's say we are going to be focusing on your ability to communicate your communication skills, in addition to social collaboration. This does not necessarily mean that you will not be using your thinking skills. So please keep that in mind throughout your entire experience in the MYP. Whether in English literature and language or other disciplines, this is all applicable throughout your entire MYP experience. Now, to illustrate this a little bit further, in every year, you're expected to finish four units. In the first semester, you will finish for unit one and unit two. Whereas in the second semester, we will finish unit three and unit four. In each and every semester and each and every unit, 
From unit one to four, we are expected to cover certain key concepts. The key concepts highlight the major concepts of the unit. For instance, let's say in unit one, we are going to do communication. Then the unit will focus on perhaps characters' ability to communicate with one another. Or we might focus on connections, the connections that bond people formulate with one another through experiences, or even creativity, finding solutions to existing problems. Or another possible key concept in English literature language is the perspective person's point of view or a character's point of view. These are the four key concepts that will be covered in English literature and language. To repeat, we will be focusing on communication, connection, creativity, and perspective. One of the major elements I assume as learners that fear the most would be the assessment itself. A certain thing I'd like to highlight is that the formative assessments will be, go be done throughout the entire year. In other words, a simple answer inside of a class is an example of a formative assessment, as a teacher will be assessing you orally. However, you will not be marked directly on it. There are no marks for a formative assessment. It tells you where you stand, and it tells me as a, as a teacher and as an educator whether I have succeeded in transferring the message and the main idea. Any assignment, any homework is reflective to a formative assessment. However, the formal assessment that will be graded is called the summative assessment. The summative assessment is a formal assessment that grades your ability from one or zero to eight. And it is based on a specific TSR, a task-specific rubric, based on the MYP English Literature and Language rubric. And the rubric includes the following criteria. Criterion A stands for analyzing. And analyzing refers to a student's ability to examine a literary or non-literary text, to understand its components, themes, and underlying messages. Students are encouraged to discuss the text structure, language, character, and content to derive deeper insights. This involves identifying literary devices, exploring character motivation, discussing symbolism, and connecting the text to a broader societal or historical context. The goal of analysis in the MYP is to foster critical thinking develop understanding of text and encourage students to express their interpretation effectively. And in order to do so, Criterion B, which is an organization, will enable students to acquire the certain structure in order to ensure that the message is transferred properly in a cohesive and coherent manner. Criterion C, on the other hand, is known as producing text. Producing text highlights the student's ability to use their creative thinking and their ability to reflect their own perspectives and ideas by using visual literary devices throughout writing to represent a deeper and more creative perspective throughout their contextual writing. On the other hand, criterion D will be assessed throughout which is using language, highlighting the ability of a student or a learner to use the appropriate register, style, diction, punctuation marks, syntax, and grammar in order to ensure that the message behind what they're writing is clear and effective. Students must ensure that their language is appropriate throughout the entire text. All in all, this is a new beginning. And this is one of the quotes I enjoy the most. Knowledge is power and unity for those who seek it. And obviously we are all seekers of knowledge and knowledge is truly power.
Let this be a new beginning and a new start. I cannot wait to see you all.